Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to be looking at the prefixes uni, by, try, and other. And when they say other, they don't mean oddball in this case. What they mean is other words that have prefixes that have um, different meanings. So I'll get to that in just a minute. Okay, so I want you to take a look at this sort before we get started. I want you to see if you can see a pattern within these words. You can even pause the video if you want. Okay, everybody, taking a look at words that start with uni, I'm going to highlight them in pink. Okay, do you see one right off the bat? The first word, right? Unicycle. Can you find another? How about united? How about another? Union and unicorn. I'll stop there for now. Do you notice something similar about these? And in order to see the similarities, maybe we should talk about the meanings of the words. A unicycle, this first one that I highlighted, is basically um, a vehicle for moving around that has only one wheel, like a bicycle, but only has one wheel. Okay, so think about that. United means people have come together as one, working together for one common cause. Okay, now think about that meaning. A union is where two or more come together into one, again. And finally, the one we're going to talk about is unicorn. We know that a unicorn is a mystical horse that has one horn on its head. As I was going through all the meanings of those words, did you notice a common word that was used in each definition? And if you said that for each one, I said the word one, you are correct. Because the prefix uni means one. So anytime you see U-N-I at the beginning of a word like that, it means that there's one of something. If something is unique, it's one of a kind. The universe. Well, I'm going to just guess that that means that there's just everything within one, right? Everything in our big universe. The universe is the one thing that has all of us inside of it. Unison. You've done when you sing. You have to say it together as one. Uniform. Everybody wears the same thing. You don't have to do that at our school, but a lot of schools they do. So keep in mind that the prefix uni, when you see it at the front of a word, it means that there's only one or things are coming together as one or things are unique. There's nothing like it. It is one of a kind. All right. So that's our meaning of uni. It means one. Now let's take a look at our second prefix, by. I want you to just guess now what you think by might mean. Okay, let's take a look at a few words. Bicycle. Okay, do you see another one? Bi-weekly. Bisect. And what else? I bet you can find another in there. Ooh, here's something you might be. Bilingual. Let's talk about the meaning of a few of these words. All right? Bicycle. Again, a vehicle. You probably have one of these. A vehicle in, that has two wheels. Okay? So a bicycle has two wheels. A unicycle has one. Bicycle has two wheels. I bet a lot of you just got a bicycle during this break. Let's talk about bisect. Doctors and surgeons might do this when they bisect something. They created, they open something up into two. Okay, you create two pieces of something. This is something you might be in. I think there are quite a few people in our class who are bilingual, and that means you can speak two languages. Okay, bi-weekly means it happens every two weeks. Okay, so we see the meaning of bi. What is it? Well, it means two. Do you see a pattern now in these words? Uni means one, bi means two. I bet you can guess what tri means. Did you think three? Because if you did, you were correct. Let's just start with that. It means three, okay? Let's find some words that have tri in it. Tricycle. So because you know the meaning of three now, you know that a tricycle means what? Is it something that you ride on that has three wheels? Yes, it is. Do you see some other ones? Triangle. How many sides does a triangle have? Does it have three? You're right. Okay. Triple. If you do something, like a, if a gymnast does a triple flip, how many flips did they do in the air? Did you say three? Yes, you're right. Triplet. 
If someone is a triplet, that means that there's three born at the same time. A tripod is an instrument often used when filming or when taking pictures, and it's something that has three legs, and you might put your camera on top of it like that. The tripod holds your camera, so it has three legs, okay? Trio, three people in a group, okay? So you can see, uni means one, bi means two, tri means three. Finally, let's look at the other. Now the other one might be confusing. You might think, oh, those are oddballs, but they're not because a lot of these words actually are oddballs. So don't get confused. Oddball is words that also have number meaning prefixes at the beginning, but there's just so many categories that they didn't create categories for all of them. For example, a quadrangle means a shape that has four sides. Okay, a triangle has three sides, a quadrangle has four sides. Do you see another one that has one that you don't recognize? How about pentagon? How many sides does a pentagon have? If you said five, you're correct. Okay, what about octagon and octopus and October? What does OCT mean as a prefix? What number do you think it means? Based on octopus, I bet you can figure it out. How many legs does an octopus have? Did you say eight? How many sides does, does an octagon have? You bet, there's eight. Now this one might cause you some confusion because October is not the eighth month. October is the tenth month. But here's the thing. October used to be the eighth month in ancient calendars. Modern calendars have October as the 10th month, but in ancient calendars, it was the 8th month. That's how it got the name October. And that was my birth month, so that's one of my favorite months. Okay, everybody, here's your job. You're going to look at the prefixes uni, bi, tri, and then other means all the other words that have prefixes that mean a number like 4, 5, or 8, and sort them out on your desk. Then I want you to create three sentences using two of each word in each sentence. Okay, everybody, enjoy prefixes. You need by, try, quad, pent, and oct. Bye for now.